put the our storm tracker and our uh, models indicate most of that'll be east of the state line area later on this afternoon. So it should be a pretty dry and typical summer day here. All right, perfect. We join uh, Leslie Campos Crona with the Rockford Park District to talk about a new exhibit at Nicholas Conservatory and Gardens. Good morning, Leslie. Good morning. How are you today? Good. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Now, Leslie, I understand this uh, this cultivating culture exhibit is actually a your idea here, right? You're going <laughs> to. <laughs> Uh, talk yeah. about talk about what inspired you to uh, get the, this moving. So, cultivating culture is an exhibit really inspired by our visitors throughout our almost 12 years in operation here at the conservatory. Um, we get many visitors that come in and share with us really personal stories on how they use papaya growing up, or the way they use banana leaves in cooking while they in growing up um, back in their. Uh, native regions. So a few years ago, we thought, why not tie plants to people here in our Rockford region? And we inquired with some of our previous clients and some of our partners to see if they were willing to share their stories with us. So in ways, you kind of get to know um, our storytellers, but you also get a little bit of an experience from across the world by these um, stories. So throughout the conservatory, you'll find QR codes that you can interact with with your smartphone. Headphones are definitely encouraged, but you'll find different QR codes that'll take you to different recipes, um, different music, maybe different uh, traditions shared around the world. So how many people are part of this exhibit? How many different stories? We have seven storytellers as part of our exhibit, um, ranging from Laos, to Malawi, we also have someone representing Kenya, Puerto Rico, and there's a few I'm missing there, but it's a good variety to start off um, really kind of focusing on some of the tropical collection that we have here in the conservatory. And you do have a pretty wide ranging array of plants not native to North America or certainly this area of North America, um, you know, and, and that's what triggered these conversations, huh? Yeah, and in a way, it kind of, as we were working on it, it has shown that we're kind of celebrating not only roots that have transferred here to the United States, but we're kind of sharing our own roots, everyone. Um, it's a really good way to think it over, to celebrate those traditions, that cultural background everyone independently has. And we just hope that our collection can start some of the conversation with our neighbors. So are these seven people, are they residents of Rockford? How did you connect them with the conservatory? Yeah, so some of them are residents of Rockford or the Rockford region. Um, a lot of our storytellers share with us how they made it to Rockford, what initially drew them in or um, made them replant their roots here. So we have seven storytellers with diverse backgrounds, not originally from Rockford, but I think that's what makes it so special. Hmm. All right, and this is, uh, this is all part of the regular admission to the Nicholas Conservatory? It is. So our general admission applies year-round. On Tuesdays, it's quite a deal. It's Tropical Tuesday, so you get a little bit of a discount with that rate going half price on Tuesdays. And then to follow in the evening with Food Truck Tuesdays. With, with what? Tuesday? No, food Truck Tuesdays, of course, yeah. <laughs> Got to have something to eat after you look at the, the exhibit. You, have to, you know, the, yes. you have to learn about banana leaves and cooking, you might as well go have something to eat, exactly. And, uh, and a lot of these do tie into different recipes from these native lands of uh, Laos and other countries, right? Yeah, so as you go through the conservatory, like I mentioned, those QR codes not only take you to personal stories, they also take you to different recipes, how you can... I uh, use ginger in cooking or like I mentioned some sounds. So there's a few playlists and they're exposing you to different sounds throughout uh, different regions of the world. Now the area outside the conservatory, what do you guys call that? Just lobby, the atrium, what, what, uh, what do you, there, yeah. what you have a display out there as well of what the seven people who are featured with their plants inside? Exactly, so we have seven beautiful portraits in our lobby area. Each one of them is um, a representative with their story to be told via QR code. Uh, the photographs were taken by a Minneapolis-based artist, Shelley Mosman, who traveled here to Rockford to shoot our participants. And um, I personally really love the way that they were taken because it does show you our collection in a different artistic view. 
And it looks like they're in somewhat native, important native dress for them, too. Well, what's really great about this exhibit is that when we invited our participants, we simply asked them to come as they feel best representative. So they showed in their fashion some a little more non-traditional than others, but I think it really captivates our storytellers in their essence. Well, great. When can people come see this? You know, where and how can they come see the exhibit? We're open Tuesday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., and Saturdays and Sundays, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. We also have a few pop-up events like a fashion show coming up on September 23rd with Kelvin Candy and um, a Dia de los Muertos adult theme party coming up at November, last, first Friday in November. Okay, that's near the end of the uh, exhibit's run, Cultivating Culture. You can find out about those two special events at nicholasconservatory.com. And once again, Leslie, I believe you mentioned uh, you, you encourage people to bring uh, some earbuds or headphone jacks or he headphones uh, for their phone uh, so that uh, these, the stories aren't being uh, muddled a little bit, right? Exactly. If you uh, would like to bring your headphones, it's just strongly encouraged so that you can get away, you know pop in the headphones, maybe escape to Puerto Rico while you're enjoying the conservatory. All right, sounds good. The weather's good. nice in the conservatory. Yeah. yeah, if you see someone in headphones, they're not being rude. Thank <laughs> you so much for being here, Leslie. Thank you. Thank you very much for your time. Have a great day. A local exhibit, Cultivating Culture, from the, the, the minds of Leslie Campos Crow, mm -hmm. who joined us. It is now at the Nicholas Conservatory, uh, Tuesdays through Sundays through November 5th.